Hey there internet, Keeve here, and welcome to the Cars with Keeve YouTube channel. In this video, we're going over DIY details, waterless wash. Now what is waterless wash? It's really just a better quick detailer. It has surfactants in it that helps clean, and also has ceramic polymers to leave protection. It's more lubricative. I believe it's much safer than a quick detailer. Now there's certain levels of dirtiness that you could use this on, and there's others you can't. Caked on dirt, mud, salt from the winter, you don't want to use this. Now, such as Heidi right here, we recently went to Road Atlanta, and Road Atlanta is really known for kicked up dirt, and you build a layer of dust on the car. I go over car shows all over the East Coast. I go to local car shows. I wash the car usually the night before. When I get there, I do have sometimes a small layer of dirt, especially in the spring when the pollen's out. But also, it works on the interior. It works on glass, trim, rubber, wheels. It's an all-around product, so you would only need the one bottle. You can use it as a drying aid after you're done cleaning as well because it has those ceramic polymers and it's going to help you in that drying process. So this is $12.99 on DIY Details website. I do have a discount code. Cars with Keeve will save you 10%. So you're going to want a cleaning towel and you're going to want a buffing towel. Now me, I prefer to use the same towel for the whole thing. So something like this, this is the Rag Company's Creature. It has a low nap side and then it has a higher nap side. So the higher nap is your buff, the lower nap is your cleaning. I can buy a 10 pack of towels to do the same job. I don't have to have a separate buffing towel in this. So when I travel, obviously that's less I need overall. Fold into a fourth, that's where you store and you, know, you wipe down with this. But I like to fold this one more. So that gives me eights. So it's got this really like ocean type blue color. The smell, I can't quite put my hands on it because I'm a smell out of the bottle, very concentrated. It's like blueberry bubble gum. You see it looks really clean obviously the lights are taking your eye off of the dirt but when you come at an angle you can see the layer of dust that's on the car it's not pollen that is red clay dust that's very common in georgia where i live made in the usa here with the talco sprayers just a really nice clean nice looking bottle and label uh, you could do this in direct sunlight but you're gonna have to wipe off really quick you're not gonna allow it to sit there and dwell and do its thing and emulsify the dirt uh, what I like to do is like do little little spritz. See how it's like, it's a little more product than I think probably is needed, but it gets that saturation I'm looking for. I'm gonna let it sit, uh, and then we're gonna do our wipes. Probably put my pressure point slightly right here. And then as I move down the surface, I'm gonna roll it up. So I'm not just pushing the dirt and like, you know, bulldozing it. And then we'll flip and then we'll do the opposite side. But we definitely wanna spray a little bit on here. So I wanna start my pressure point like that. And then I'm just slowly moving. Now on this side, I can start from that point and then work way out. So then I switch my sides, get a little more product on there. And we're not putting any pressure on here. As you can see we've already exhausted this part and we just flip over. Here we are, woo. Especially towards the center of the car. Some good looking dirt there. Oh man, that's slick. I really like that. And there you go. See the difference in the dust line on that side versus this at a car show? That's a big deal. To a lot of people, they might not even notice it. I'm trying not to overspray. So when I'm like spraying this part, I might use a little more liquid there with that small little spritz. And then maybe use a little more of a spray type on this side because I, I don't have to worry about overspray. I haven't cleaned over this side yet. And now it's time to buff. And I'm using the other side that wasn't used on that side here. And really, I don't see much of anything like flash wise or you know any residue the back here should be real fun i'm going to do the whole surface since like i said it's inside this can dwell for a good bit of time i'll even do the top here Whew. more on there than i thought it just looks clean but it's not you can see how much dirt in that one wipe right there
You just look at that. It's just, oh. Wow, I had no idea it was that dirty back here. That's probably about the limits of the amount of dirt I would want to wipe. A little more lubrication because this is going to be dirty for sure. Yeah. And one great thing about this product is if you do leave it on there for too long, the surfactants and stuff, they easily, they don't, they're not going to stain. You just come back, spray more product, saturate it again, and you'll be able to wipe them off. No problem. Oh, so slick. It was crazy as you see how much dirt was on there. You would not believe it just based off of just looking at it. So that was the rear of the car. Very dirty. Uh, this was the hood, you can see the difference. It was mainly just dust from the red clay. It was not uh, exhaust stuff, stuff from the road. As you see the buff towel, we did actually, we picked up a little bit here. This is from the rear of the car on the buff. Uh, so we definitely want to go ahead and turn the back side of this into a cleaning towel now. Glass is the same way, but you don't have to be as careful because obviously it's a lot harder to scratch glass this right here i'm not going to worry about doing one per row on the window i think that's being a little bit too much it's it's glass but i am still going to use up and down movements but i'm kind of going back and forth like this making sure that i am getting into all the cracks crevices maybe going back over and there you can see we have a little bit of dirt, not a lot though. Buff that out. It's gonna leave a little bit of protection, but this protection is not like crazy protection, maybe a couple weeks, maybe up to a month if you keep it garage kept. I'm actually gonna use my microfiber here to kind of block my overspray on that line. If you get really good, you can do this. Now, when it's that little bit of an area and almost no dirt, I'm just going to use the same area again. A little bit of dirt, not much. I want to flip. All right. Down here is where it's going to get dirty. And I overlapped, so I need to catch that overspray. That is dirty. And that's that kind of that darker dirt we're talking about that road grime all that nasty stuff come back on our buff when you're doing your buff always overlap to the panel that you just had done make sure you kind of even everything out if you did get some overspray last but not least wheels and tires now a lot of people are very delicate I'm not really delicate with my wheels, especially these. I never see scratches or anything. So I'll just spray on here. I'm not folding in the force and doing that stuff. I'm literally just going to take my towel. There's just too, way too many angles and things going on here. But I'm sure these are dirty. As you can see right there. Before I buff off the wheels, I'm going to take the microfiber and I'm going to fold it into a very small square to use on the tires. And then we just buff them off at the same time. Not too much buffing on the tire because obviously, you know, tires are going to transfer some of that black rubber coloring onto your microfiber. And usually you always want to keep your microfibers used on wheels and tires separate from here on out. So sometimes a different color is really good to use. And you can apply way more pressure here than, say, you did on the paint or the hood. I used to use this with Quick Detailer as well. 
just a great way to get just you know a little bit of sheen for people like me who you know are, are into a natural rubber look every single day i'll be making moves till i'm buried in my grave to the system i don't want to be a slave i've been doing shit my way uh, or the highway and in the driveway is a nice thing because i grind through the climb i invite pain well, we did the entire car and she was dirtier than i expected we used six microfibers this is how much product we used I think it's great. Uh, the cost wise, obviously at three dirty washes being using a lot of product, they say to saturate it though. So that comes at like 4:30 uh, a wash. Plus I used, we'll just say five microfibers. Uh, that puts you at 10, that puts you at almost 15 bucks. But remember these are an investment. These can be used over and over and over again. Uh, you could stretch this out smaller car. You definitely could easily get four. I believe bigger truck, maybe less. Uh, but I said, that's the worst. I believe I could stretch this into four. Uh, if it's just at car shows where I washed it the night before and I'm just out there to just get that nice extra little bit of uh, sheen and gloss and get any dust off of there, I could definitely get five or six and leave this in the car. I definitely recommend it. Uh, it's going to replace my quick detailer. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. And welcome to the Cars of Cube. Blah, 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 blah. By the time I get there, the... Oh my gosh. It's more safe for... to wipe off dust. Oh my gosh you at like $95, 90, $95. Now might be a really good time for you to get angry. Use my 10% off discount. You're gonna get that search of Sasha. One thing I really like about it is, you, one thing I really like about it is why you're, one thing I really like about it, uh, you're gonna need a cleaning towel. You're gonna to need a cleaning towel. You're gonna to need a cleaning towel and you... <laughs>